everybody, it's Miss Stacy. How are you guys? I surely miss you. I thought it would be fun for us to do a directed drawing lesson together. So let me show you what we're gonna be making. We are going to make this cute little rabbit. Okay, are you ready? Get your pencils, we're gonna get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is draw a circle. Now watch where I put the circle. I'm going to put it right about here on the page. Okay, so I have a little bit of room up here for the ears, and I have a lot of room down here to draw his body, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do are two feet, and they are two half circles, and the half circle comes off the page. So we're gonna draw a half circle like this and another half circle like that, okay? And they do touch, try to make them touch like that. Okay, the next thing is the body. So starting about right here on that circle, you're gonna draw a curved line and you're gonna come down and touch that foot and you're gonna draw a curved line and you're gonna come down and touch that foot, okay? So there is his body. Now, he has the two arms, and his arms, they kind of look like they're folded behind his back. You know how when we line up to go to PE or library, um, we ask you to put your hands behind your back? That's what our rabbit's going to be doing, okay? So I'll show you. You start about here, and you're going to draw a line, and you're going to just bring it down like this. And you're going to start here, and you're going to bring the line down like that, okay? There's his arms. Now his tail is like a, looks like a cloud and it goes right about here. So you're just gonna go out, 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 and out. Okay, he has two ears. One is straight and one is floppy. So the straight ear comes up and down. And then we're gonna draw an arc line going out. And we're gonna bring that arc, arc line in and then we're gonna bring the ear down like this, okay? The ear has a little bit of detail inside it. So copying this straight ear shape, you're just gonna come up and down, okay? And over here, you're gonna draw a line over here, kind of following that same shape, okay? Now for some fun little details on him. He ha he's wearing a bow tie. He's all dressed up for Easter. So let's draw our bow tie. Um, we're gonna do a square underneath, right there. And then starting from that edge there where the arm meets the body, you're gonna bring it down and you're gonna pull it in, giving it a bow tie shape. So I'm gonna start it here and I'm gonna loop it down. So there's this bow tie. Okay, on his feet, there are two lines that go um, across like this, one, two, and one, two. That's to look like his bunny paws. And the last thing to do is his face. So we're gonna draw two little dots right here for his eyes and a heart for the nose, okay? And then for his mouth, we're gonna come down and hook it to the right and come down and hook it to the left. Okay, now he has six whiskers. Oh, I forgot his rosy cheeks. So you're gonna put two circles right here for the rosy cheeks. And he has six whiskers. This is the last touch. So let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's our rabbit. Isn't he so cute? Now, when we're in the classroom together, we usually collect all of your drawings and then I take a black Sharpie and I outline all of your pencil lines and then you get to paint it. Um, but since I'm not with you, maybe you can ask your parents or an older brother or sister to um, outline it for you, or you could try it yourself, that's fine. And then you can color it. You can use watercolors, crayons, uh, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have to color it in. 
And then I thought it'd be fun if you posted it onto Seesaw so that we can all share it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and please know that I miss you. And um, I can't wait to see your pictures on Seesaw. Bye.